we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CHI3, or triiodomethane. Carbon and iodine and hydrogen are all non-metals. That means when they combine together, they're going to form a molecular compound, if I can spell it properly. And that means there's a sharing of electrons, as opposed to ionic compounds, where electrons jump from one atom to another, and you get charged particles. Just sharing of electrons here. How many electrons? Well, carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons. Hydrogen in group 1 brings one valence electron. And iodine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons. Now there are three iodines, so I have to multiply that seven by three. That's 21 plus one plus four, which makes 26 electrons total in this structure. Now, of these atoms, carbon can make the most bonds. Carbon likes having four bonds. Hydrogen likes having one bond, and most often iodine will have one bond as well. But let me just surround my central atom, the thing that can bond the most, with all of the atoms that it says are bonded to it here. Now I'm putting single bonds between my central atom and my outer atoms, because if there weren't single bonds there, then uh, it wouldn't be a molecule, right? Two, four, six, eight electrons that I've already dealt with. I need 26 electrons total. Now, this carbon already has a complete octet, two, four, six, eight electrons around it, and hydrogen doesn't want a full octet. It's one of those exceptions. It's happy with just these two electrons here. So, two, four, six, eight. I'm going to count up to 26, and I'm going to complete the octets on the iodines. That's uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Great. That's complete octets for all the carbons and iodines. The correct number of electrons for hydrogen, following the doublet rule, or two electrons here. And I've used up all the electrons that I brought with me to, uh, according to the number of valence electrons that each atom brings. This is it. You can't get a better structure than this. You did it with me. Hopefully the process made sense, and best of luck.